So what we're going to do now here is I'm going to put the tape first in the machine. Now I'm going to put in tape one because tape one has the footage that is offline, the cutaways of the fireworks that we want to bring in. So it opens up the batch capture window and this is a very simple window. It just wants to know what do you want to capture and it's talking about what's in your bin and if you look over here in our browser you'll see that we've got um, two clips that are offline with the sign of the devil. So we can choose all items in logging bin. Now don't choose this. Only do this the first time you're bringing clips into your project. If you hit this when you've, after you've already have a bunch of clips which media you've brought in, it will actually dump out all the media and have you bring it all in again because it thinks you want to bring in all the clips again. So only hit all items in the logging bin first time you're bringing clips into your project. Now next is offline items in the logging bin and that's what you're going to choose most of the time. And I just chose it by clicking on it. It says offline items in the logging bin and that will bring in all the clips that have the red line, the sign of the devil. So that's what you should click most of the time. Offline items in the logging bin. Because we want to bring the offline items online into the computer. Now the third choice is selected items in the logging bin. And if you choose that, it will only bring in clips that you've highlighted. So look, over here in my browser, I've highlighted the cutaway fireworks too. So now if I've selected selected items in the logging bin, it'll only bring in that clip. It's as simple as that. You may just want to bring in one clip at a time. Uh, you may not have a lot of room left on your drive. So selected items in the logging bin will only bring in clips that you've highlighted. But now I'm going to go back to offline items because that's what you always want to be using, offline items in the logging bin. It has some options. It says use log clip settings. Always keep that checked. That just means it's going to use the information, the in and outs that you've already programmed when you log the clips. Okay, it will use the numbers you've already punched in to the computer using the in or the out marker or typing in the numbers like my student did. Add handles. What are handles? Well, that's for skinny people who uh, want to have a little love handles around their stomach. No, that's not what it is. They're not love handles, they're ad handles. What are handles? Well, handles are little spaces that you can add to the beginning and the end of your clip. Let's say you went through your footage and you wrote down the numbers, but you didn't think like a sculptor, which thinks like bringing in the big stone, right? You are fine cutting and you realize, oh, I, need, I made, my numbers are too close together. I need more room on both sides. I was too exact. You can add extra room on the in and the out by adding handles. And what add handles do is simply, you can add uh, a little uh, time to the in point and the out point. Let's say you set your in, you set your out, and you realized you made it a little too close to where you actually want the footage because you need a little more room on both sides to dissolve in or out. So if you think that your logging is not perfect, that you're a little too close to the actual shots you want, you go, oh my god, do I have to go back and redo all this to give it an extra two seconds before my in and out? You don't have to do that. You just click on add handles and I will type in two seconds and now it will add two seconds to my recorded in point and my out point. It's just going to give you extra footage at the beginning and the end of your clip. So if you think you've typed your numbers in a little too close to the beginning and the end and you feel, oh, I have to go redo these again, you don't. Just use add handles. I usually add one or two seconds of handles. Capture preset comes up selected for American video. NTSC, well that's actually in Japan, but it's a digital video standard. Just keep it there with presets. I'm going to drop down here. It says total media time. It's just telling us, okay, here's what it needs to bring in. Here's how much footage we have to bring in. And it says it's 31 minutes, 30 seconds, 10 frames. We need 6 gigs of free space is needed. Then. But don't worry about this stuff. If you're going to worry about anything in here, Worry that you, you always selected offline items in the logging bin, not all items. Only select all items if it's the first time you're bringing footage in, but most of the time make sure you're on this. Add handles. Then we're going to drop down here and see where it says OK. And we're just going to click the OK button and that will bring us to the next window.
This is the insert reel dialog box. It, it's we're v I know we're hitting a lot of stuff to get these clips in, but it gets real easy. You'll be doing this like clockwork in a minute. But it just wants you to make sure that you've inserted the correct reel in the machine. And remember, I put reel one in before I even got into this batch capture window. And it's just saying, make sure you insert reel one. And it's telling us it's about 30 minutes of clips, two clips, 30 minutes of footage, and it's ready. Okay? So I'm going to hit continue. So this is just a warning box to say, hey, make sure you insert the reel into the deck. And it's telling us it needs reel one. And if we had multiple tapes, it would just, we'd go through and we'd first import everything from reel one, reel two, reel three, reel four. We'd highlight it and it would bring those clips in. So just it wants to know what reel is in the machine. Then I hit continue and it actually starts bringing the footage into the machine. And it's actually going to bring the footage in right now. What's happening is Final Cut Pro is going to control your camera and your deck and go back and find these numbers and bring in the actual footage into the computer. So what the computer is going to do is going to control this deck and it's going to find those in and outs and it's going to bring in the computer. That's what's happening right now. We're bringing it in now. It's exciting. It's all coming in. The footage is coming in. Is this exciting? Are you excited about this? I am totally excited. We are jamming right now. The footage is just coming into the computer. Are you excited about this? This is the greatest moment of my entire life. Look at this. Final cut right before your eyes. Look at this. We're filming it. We're filming it for you at home. We'll do the wrap. Final cut, baby. You got a trim window. Alien technology. You got a final cut. Woo! Look at this footage. Are you rocking with us at home? I hope you're rocking with us at home. Yeah. All right, let's get back to editing. Yeah. Hallelujah, it brought it in. Praise hallelujah. We hit uh, finished and it brought the clips in. Now, and can you all see how that there's no sign of the devil anymore? And I can click on the clip and it's already in the computer. And we're all done now, so we're gonna close the login capture window and then we're going to be able to edit video. So in summary, we first decided to get numbers into the computer using our logging methods, either writing our numbers down and entering our numbers in the computer, or we simply marked an in and an out and we logged a clip. We may have used capture now or a clip, which brings one clip in at a time, but now our footage is in the computer. So, we're ready to close the login capture window and remember to always close this window. Don't start editing until you close the window. It's very important and you're looking at the login capture window right now and you see where my arrow is right here? Right up here on the top left hand side. You want to close it just by clicking right there on the last little button to the left. Always close the login capture window prior to editing. Okay, now you're ready to Click on the next link to learn how to edit.